I body everybody, I know for my body. My nigga home now, he decides to my body about to walk down the aisle and be a mama. So, on today's video, I wanted to talk about the time that I got jumped by these so called straight guys. So, um, I was on the park one day and it was me, my sister, and I think. My sister homegirl. I remember it was like three of us. So it was three of us and I was on the park one day. And oh, it just came back to me. The whole thing just came back to me. Okay, so these girls made a fake page of me. And they had inboxed this guy. And when the guy see me, he was like, Oh, you gay, you inboxing me from a fake page. Fast forward, like a month passed by. It's me, my sister, and her homegirl. And we um walked to the park, not thinking nothing, like we just out bored. We walked to the park. Soon as I get on the park, I see a group of boys. So I'm like, girl, look at the boys. Like the boys is out. Not knowing that it's just the same person who said, if you keep inboxing me from this page, I'm gonna beat you up or something like that. I, I forgot really exactly how it went because it's so old. But um I end up like walking. I had to walk the direction to fully get into the park, so we ended up walking their way, but by the time we got even close to them, they all got up, and it was like, yeah, dad go that, can I say them words on YouTube? I'm tired of my videos keep getting demonetized and taken down, like, they was like, there go that gay person right there, there go that F word, there go that, that P word. There he go right there. So, um, in the midst of that, I'm looking at them like, okay, I'm right here, and oh, so what's supposed to happen? I ain't say nothing, but I'm looking like, okay, I'm right here. But when I seen everybody get up, mind you, it was like, I don't know, 13, 14, 15, it was a whole bunch, it was a group of boys. When I seen all of them get up and then run towards me, Girl, when I tell you my heart drop, I got so damn scared. I was like, these people finna stomp my head out like I'm finna die. I literally thought like they was finna jump me and beat me into a coma. Girl, when I tell y'all I took off running so fast, nobody couldn't catch me. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it just it, it, it just was all dumb to me. And that's another reason why I really don't deal with certain females because like they do certain things like malicious things like what if I would have got shot what if something really tragic would happen to me on the park all because of a female took my pictures and inboxed the guy and was trying to see if he was gay so back to the story um so they jumped me and in the midst of them jumping me for like two minutes three minutes whatever like that i ran into somebody y'all uh, told them to call the police they called the police the police dro um, dropped me off home i came home got a knife out the kitchen i had came home got a knife out the kitchen went back to the park and was looking for them dudes again because one thing about me no matter what type of fight it was or what type of situation it was I'm going to have a weapon. Like, I'm going to protect myself. Like, I'm not a fighter, but I will fight. Now, we're going to fast forward from that event into, like, I would say, what, three months after that? So, three months after that, me and my friend was at the club. Let's just say this friend name is TT. So me and TT at the club, mind you, TT is gay also. So TT, me and TT leave the club, and um, TT, me and TT on the way home. I'm gonna we stay close to each other. Me and TT stay close to each other. So I'm gonna go to drop TT off, and I'm gonna go home. So TT phone ring, and TT get a call from one of her gay friends. Also, it turned out to be a coincidence that the same park that TT wanted me to drop her off to was the same park that I got jumped on. Follow me here. So I take TT to the park and I end up seeing TT friend and the two guys that the that TT friend is supposed to be having. So 
I got tents. I had tents in my cart this time. So I let down my windows and I'm looking all in the dude's face because they look familiar. So tell me why I look a little harder. A little harder. An inch more harder. It's the same dudes that jumped me. Well, two of the same dudes out the crew that jumped me. Mind you, me and TT coming from the club. It's about four o'clock in the morning. Y'all guys jumped me because y'all said I wrote y'all from a fake page of y'all not with that gay stuff. But it's four o'clock in the morning and y'all on the park with a gay person. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, hmm. All right. So, I just let down the window. And when they seen, when I seen who they was, I just shook my head and I just left. I was just like, wow. Like, wow. Really? Really? And the person they was out there with, was not even pretty, beautiful, wasn't, it wasn't a catch to that first thing. Like, it was just like, it was just, I would lay, label the person from one through 10. I would get a person a, a one. They was really, they looking foolish. But I know, really, re, I know the real reason why they was out there with the gay person, because the gay person be paying guys to give them head and the, you know, please them. So I understood like why they was out there, but I was just so shocked on like y'all so anti-gay, but y'all out here with a gay person finna get paid twenty dollars to, to do some gay stuff, and it's not one of y'all; it's two of y'all at that. How ironic! How ironic is that tiny. It's just that I ain't know what to think. Mmm. Mmm. So after that day, I was with TT again. And I told TT, I said, call your friend. Ask her what she did with them guys that was out there with her. Like, what all they do? How they get down? The guys gonna lie and say, oh, they just close friends with the gay person. They were just out there smoking. The dudes lied and said that they not with their gay stuff. They were just out there at 4 o'clock in the morning smoking. Do I look like I was born three days ago? You a straight man, but you out there at four o'clock in the morning, smoking. You can't roll your own joint and smoke by yourself. You gonna get out your bed, go to the park to smoke with somebody that's gay. And it's not, a, it's not the principle about the person being gay. But reason why I'm bringing the gay part up so much because they are anti-gay. So you know what? I don't even know what else to say. All I got to say about this situation: look at them now, and look at me now. They over there sprung out on Molly's weed and sprung out on crack and coke, and I'm over here sober. Drink my little, uh, little daiquiri every now and then, a little liquor here and there. Don't smoke weed, don't smoke cigarettes, don't do no drugs. I'm over here looking healthy and, pure, and, and beautiful. Let me stop, I'm just messing with y'all. So with that being said, I want y'all to leave me a comment. What could two straight guys, two anti-straight guys, I mean, It don't even make sense to me. I can't even get the words out. What can two straight guys, two anti-gay straight guys, be doing at the park 4 a.m. in the morning, late night, with a gay person 
for a ten dollar joint. I mean, I don't. I need y'all to riddle me that. Let me know if I'm tripping. Let me know if I'm tripping. Cause I doubt it. I doubt it. All right, y'all. So I'm finna end this video. I'm gonna need y'all to hit the subscribe button, like. Y'all watching but not subscribing, like how that work? If you don't subscribe to me, you gonna have bad luck for five years. Mm-hmm. Bye y'all.